that suddenly everything, everything opens, the economy gets better, and everyone gets overexcited, but there will be problems. I look at some modern buildings by other architects and think this is not comfortable, but they, you know, they become a slave to architecture, if you like. I'm ever a slave. So it's important that people relax and also our work, which is changing. It's not, you know, you, you're, you're a young man out there somewhere. You're not the same as if you were 30 or 40 years ago. You have different aspirations. You have an iPhone. I know you're not supposed to smoke, but you might like to smoke because smoking is good for some people. <laughs> so you have to create places. So people who smoke can smoke. People who don't want to smoke are free from smoke. You want to, the way you work is, is, I've never enjoyed karaoke. I know some people do, but I'm not interested. Just remember that. Anyone looking at this video, no karaoke. I've been uh, coming to Chongqing for quite a few years now. I have to say, I like Chongqing. In downtown Chongqing, there's a lot of new buildings going up. I would have kept some of the old ones. So you can mix old and new, and then you get a more vibrant city, which is what we all want. Because often you get a new building coming, coming down to the ground, around the bottom, it has what I call corporate landscaping. And actually it's just boring, just really boring. So that's, that little bit is kept beautifully. Then you get shit because no one cares about it. But actually they should pay attention to everything. But it doesn't have to be too perfect. A bit of rough is good, I think. Since the beginning of the century, more or less. And of course, China has changed. But before China, I was in Moscow. And of course, Moscow changed a lot. I was there for 10 years. And the same thing happened in both places, that suddenly everything, everything opens, the economy gets better, and everyone gets overexcited. And therefore, they want to take away all of the past and build everything new. Now, if I concentrate on China, when they started to build things new, what, what did that mean? It meant a lot of American architects came in and did very bad work, I think. So, the, a lot of the new buildings that have been built all over China, I think are badly built. I think that the, sometimes, and particularly in Chongqing, some of the new housing blocks, they're too close together. There will be problems. Not as bad as Hong Kong, but there will be problems. So that they will not last very long. They're not built to very good standards. Can you say that's a problem of the West coming in? It, not really. You can say that it's also a problem of Chinese attitudes towards things. That sounds like a bit of a grumble, and it is. And I think it's very bad, but we, we are very keen to build good quality buildings, which will last. Uh, which the, will make the environment better from an ecological point of view. And we can do that, but you have to be allowed to do that. And sometimes that's difficult. What I want to bring to Chongqing is a difficult question, clearly, to answer. But I would be very, I'd be very proud in creating the studio here to create some new young people that can make architecture after I'm dead. That would be a good thing to do. So we, it has something to do with education, um, clearly, and, and creating not a movement, but something which is to make architecture proper. So it's not about making money, it's about making good design. There is a difference.